No legit here in Arlington, Virginia at the Hilton. Good times in here. Welcome to No Legend. Let the good times roll. So my pal the Major and I finally arrived in Arlington, Virginia. And of course we had to pay our respects to specific areas starting here with the U.S. Marine Corps War Memorial which is an impressive site and it's far larger in person than you generally would think of when you just see it. Then we had to continue on to the Arlington National Cemetery where we had to pay our respects to some people that we know over here. This is a very beautiful area and it's full of history along with being an honored place where many of those who served in our military have their final resting place. So it certainly is something that everyone that gets the opportunity should visit if they get the time. And you get a nice view overlooking Washington, D.C. here. And this video will be a very short uh, view of this. We'll do another video that will include more of a complete review of our experience we had here at a more appropriate time. Standing in front of Arlington House certainly gives you the best view overlooking the city of Washington, D.C. And after a long day at the cemetery, we decided to go check into our hotel. If you're looking for where to stay in Arlington, Virginia, travel with me now on our Hilton Hotel Review videos to help you decide. In this episode, we were looking for places to stay in the Arlington, Virginia area and the Ballston neighborhood, which is right next to Washington, D.C. Research in my local context led us to the Hilton Arlington, which is located in Arlington, Virginia, at 950 North Stafford Street, which is about 16 hours and 1,078 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. We will do a full Hilton Arlington review in this Virginia travel video. Doing our review of hotel stays is usually part of our travel around to places where we will be enjoying other activities, so make sure to check out our other videos for this area and many others. So they do have a nice little outdoor patio area, but I don't see how it connects to anything. Uh, maybe there's something uh, that's not open that it does connect to. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and go into the hotel lobby. So this building connects to lots of other businesses and other buildings and areas. So it's a very centrally located space that really puts you in a very great central location where you can access a lot of other places and spaces. The Major and I will be going out later tonight to meet one of my old rugby teammates, Colonel Orlando, that lives in the area. So I look forward to seeing him. We always have a great time when he visits me down in New Orleans. So let's go up in the elevator now and uh, we're going to check the room out. The Major's already ahead of me, so i got to catch up to him. So he's moving faster than I am right now. He got a head start on me earlier as I was still getting stuff out of our car. So wow, they definitely have some uh, very bright carpet like so many hotels do these days. They definitely are going more for the... Uh, very bright and vibrant decorative elements, it seems. They want to draw your attention to focus on the floors. So it's uh, overall pretty nice space. It's a uh, very large building and definitely an amazing location for the area. For the location alone, this is definitely one of the top spots. Let's head on inside here and give this place a look around and see what all we can see in here. So they do have a lot of uh, good space in here. Hmm, very nice. A lot of space. Very clean. It's very good. Oh, I got a microwave. Kind of dark in here, though. So I got a little bit of better lighting so you can see the microwave here better. And then they also had a nice little setup for some coffee. So you had some pretty good basic items in here to take care of you, uh, except for this total rip off of this water here. They want $6.50 for the water. That's ridiculous. I don't know why hotels do that. It just makes people grumpy. It's like, ah. I got a closet over here with the uh, 
an iron, ironing board, some coat hangers, and a luggage rack. Bathroom is uh, very nice in here, lots of uh, towel storage space. Very neatly organized and whoa, quite a fancy shower head there. Hmm. Mandatory soaps and skincare over here. So far, out of all the hotels we've stayed at during this trip, I would say this is an above average selection of hair and skincare products. So good job with that, Hilton. So, <laughs> it's been a long day today. So if you like good skin and hair products, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and let me know what you thought about this hotel room so far. And while you're down there, be sure to check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the Major and I are pretty dirty from traveling and then staying out and about all day today. So we're gonna have to get cleaned up and go and meet Colonel Orlando for some fun tonight. So stay tuned for that in our next episode. And thanks so much to everybody at the Hilton Arlington for a really great room other than that crazily priced water. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.